today's video is gonna be probably my most favorite video that I will ever make because it is mixing the two things that I love and that I never thought would be able to go together but I am making them go together. Today I am going to be making crochet items based off of my favorite books. I am so excited from this video because it is pertaining to two audiences so whether you're here for the books or whether you're here for the crochet we're about to bond. We're about to bond. Like I came up with this video myself so hopefully it's not a mess but out of all the I don't even know how many books I've read. I picked out my 12 five star reads and I'm gonna pick out maybe like three or four of them and those are the ones I'm gonna pick for this video. And here are my 12 five star reads. Oh my god. Oh, hell. Oh, man. What the fuck, man? Oh, you probably recognize a lot of these because I am a victim of book talk and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm gonna go through all these. This is more for my book girlies, not really my crochet girlies, but you know, stay along, stay here. I'm, I'm, I'll be with you, I'll be with you in a second. I'll be, I'll be. This is not in any particular order. I just picked them out, but this, The Silent Patient, Thriller, five stars. Obsessed with it, five stars, five stars. Second book, another thriller, Freedom McFadden. I've read almost all her books. Housemaid, five stars. Never Lie, again, Freedom McFadden. Favorite book of hers, five stars. YA, Lynn Painter, Better Than Movies. I love all of her YA books. They're so good and they're so fast paced and this was definitely a five star for me. Another YA, first fantasy I ever read, Caravella has a special place in my heart. I love this book more than, I'm not embarrassed to say it. I'm not embarrassed to say it. This was like the, this was when I was a beginner though. I was like one week into reading stuck with me it stuck with me i'm sorry five stars emily henry <laughs> emily henry five stars so summery so cute i loved it love in other words five stars probably my favorite romance that i've ever read it just felt it, it like stuck with me so much and i feel like it resonated with me a lot i connected a lot with the characters and i connected a lot with the relationships and i just really love this book I didn't really like the first book. The second book, it was so scary. I loved it, obsessed with it. Third book, mm, but I don't know what, what what it was with this one. Nobody really likes this one, but this one just stuck with me so much. I loved this book so much. It kept me on my toes the whole time. I was obsessed with it. I read it on vacation, which made it even better. So five stars. Have y'all read this? Who is it even by? I don't know how to say her last name. This is such an underrated book it is the it is a cozy mystery it is so oh my god it is so good five stars this book had me up late night reading it it was so fun to read so cozy 20 stars i love this book and then lastly beach read another emily henry she did it again this is my favorite emily henry book i'm obsessed with this book it is so good so summery so fun i read it on vacation and i literally loved it so much five stars so that is all of my five star books. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna pick probably the most colorful ones or the ones that I like the most color of because I'm gonna be going based off the covers of the book. And a lot of these don't have the best cover. So I'm gonna be picking the covers that I really like and that I can see myself crocheting items to. Caraval. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the maybe. I'm gonna put it in the maybe because I like the whites and the blacks and the blue. I really like this blue, so I'm gonna put it in the maybe. I don't know. Better than the movies. I think I can see myself crocheting like a summery top with this or like a floral, something summer. So I'm gonna keep that one in there. I don't like, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the red and, and the, the black combo and like clothing and stuff. So I'm gonna put this back. Same with this, colors are just not really resonating with me. Now housemade, I do like, I like the blue mixed with the yellow. I could see myself doing like maybe a top or sweater. Wait, okay, wait, yes. Maybe, that's a maybe, that's a maybe. Red and white kind of do look nice together and it's like kind of like a red and an off-white. I'll, I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Beach read. We got the yellows, we got the reds, and we got the blues. In theory, it's cute, but I think it's cute for book. I don't know if it's cute for garment. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Finley Donovan, I love the pink. I love, love, love the pink, but the black with the red. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't think so. I really like the pink, but the rest I'm not really digging. So I'm gonna put this one back. No. I don't really like the blue. I mean the red. 100 percent yes. The pinks, the light pinks, the whites, the greens. Yes, 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 yes. This I'm I don't even think this is going in the maybe. This is going in the yes. Like the colors are just so pretty. Yes. I think the orange and the green combo is fun, 
but I don't know if it's you know what let's keep, let's put it in the maybe maybe okay so we've brought it back down to eight books I'm not making eight crochet projects so we're gonna sum it down even more from the eight books we have left and I will show you guys what I end up left with okay I kind of have an idea of what I want to do I'm definitely doing these two but I'm in between if I want to do because I think I'm gonna do three projects so I'm in between if I want to do this or this colorway and I really can't decide I know what I want to do for this I know exactly what I want to make and I know exactly the colors obviously so this is a for sure I have an idea of what I want to do for this okay yeah I have an idea for what I want to do for this and I'm actually really liking it but then I'm left with these two and I know what I want to make I think but I don't know which colorway would look better with it. I think to stay safe, I'm gonna go with Caraval because this is kind of this is kind of tricky to put like white and red. You know, so I think I'm gonna stay safe and go with Caraval. And I'm not gonna call this black. I'm gonna call this either like a dark blue or like a dark gray because it's not black. So clearly. You know, the background is kind of like either a dark blue. Sorry, the, the exposure is so high. It's either like a dark blue or like a dark gray. So I'm not going to call it black. I think we've come up with our three books. I am so excited. I really wish it wasn't 7 p.m. right now because I would go straight to Hobby Lobby. Actually, no, let me stop because I literally just posted a video about me organizing my yarn and how I was going to start using my organized yarn. And look at me trying to go to Hobby Lobby. I don't have to go to Hobby Lobby for this. I do have to go to Hobby Lobby for this. And... I'm not sure this is gonna be our last project because I'm not sure so I'm gonna start our video off with better than the movies which is a blue and yellow combo it also has like some pink I don't know if I'm gonna incorporate that but the main colors are blue and yellow if we come on over here my yellow drawer is here and I have literally not the perfect shade because I don't like this yellow but I have a pretty like pastel kind of yellow that I want to use and then I also have a pastel blue for better than the movies i might incorporate the pink let me see if i have any so i have these two pinks i'm not sure this one definitely looks better but i feel like with this color combo the light pink looks better i could do both but i still don't really know what i'm making i'm gonna find something that i want to make i'm gonna scroll through pinterest and tiktok and instagram to see if i can find something i know i want to make a top i want to make like a summery kind of cute little tank top because i think that's perfect to start the summer off with and also this book it's not really summery but the cover is giving summer so i want to make something along those lines and when i think of this i think of like a cute little summer feminine top okay so i couldn't i was scrolling all over pinterest and tiktok and i literally couldn't find anything so i just drew out some ideas and i think i've made every single one of these tops somewhere on my page but here are some of the things i sketched out so um it's not the prettiest but these are the colors that i'd be using and then this is just like a basic twist tube top like this which i feel like oh i feel like this is super cute and like summery so this was definitely an option and then next i had just just heart top which i've made before i actually have the tutorial for it on my youtube channel sorry my hands are kind of in the way but yeah there we go so it's just like a heart top which i really like this one and i feel like i like this one better than the last one in terms of what matches the book more and for this one as you can see i didn't use the dark pink and then this one i used the dark pink but i didn't use the light pink so then the last one i used all the colors and this one might be the one this one is like it's this but without the sleeves you see it's like the little you can't really see because it's black but it's like the little scrunch and then the mesh at the bottom just no sleeves it's going to be um straps so that's my third option. I really don't know which one I want to go with. I'm going to sit here and think about it until I figure out which one I want to stick with. Because I really don't know. Like, I am i don't know. I like all of them. I think I'm not going to do the first one. The heart one, I really like the heart one. But I think I'm going to do the third one because as much as I like the heart one, I don't think the heart one would look good with the colors that I'm using. But I think the third one would. And I've never made, I've made so many of these types of top, but I never made one that had the mesh with multiple colors and I'm excited to see how that looks. So this is the one I think I'm gonna go with. And I really like this one because it has, it has like light details of the dark pink. So it's not just taking over. It's just kind of lightly, you know, there. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start it and I'll work for a little bit, but it is seven and I have school tomorrow and I need to take a shower and get ready for bed. So I'm gonna work on it for a little bit. So just, just a little bit. We're just gonna crochet a little bit. 
I'm gonna walk you guys through how I make this because you guys always ask for tutorials and sometimes I don't feel like posting them. I already lost, I already, I already lost the yard. I don't understand how, like I don't get it. I don't understand how this happens. I don't, like I don't get it. I put the, the yarn down for four seconds to film this video and it disappears. Nowhere it could have. So to start, I'm basically following the Vera top tutorial that's on my channel, I'll put it in the eye. But you're gonna chain bust size, not all the way around, just halfway. And I think mine is like 75. I chained 75 and it fits me from about the middle of, to the middle of my chest. And now I'm literally just gonna go back and forth with double crochet, I mean half double crochets, until it fits my boobies. So until it fits this. And I'm just gonna be alternating colors as I go. And that's basically how you make the top. I'll show you, I'll tell you guys how to make the bottom when we get there. But I'm gonna listen to my audio book. Destroy me, period. Novella, novella moment. Since I can talk about books in this video cause it's like a book, bookish video. Comment down below if you're a book girly or if you're a crochet. Comment down below if you're a book girly or if you're a crochet girly or if you're both. I'm both. Even though if you read you probably crochet, I'm making it bigger than it is. I'm making it bigger than it is. But yeah, comment down below if you came here for the books or if you came here for the crochet or if you came here just because you're a subscriber. FYI, if you have Spotify Premium, you get 15 hours of audiobook hours a month for free of like most of the books in the world. So um, if you have Spotify Premium, check that out. I'll be running through those hours in less than a week. finished the first novella of Shatter Me and let's chit chat about it because I can talk to y'all about it now like I don't have to whisper here and there I can actually talk about it because this is a book video basically also this is how it's turning out I don't I, I don't I don't know if I like it but I'm gonna I'm let it cook I'm gonna let it cook but anyways I just finished the first novella I'm not gonna spoil it but I think it was so helpful to read like definitely if you're gonna read Shatter Me read the novellas or if you haven't if you've read Shadow Me but you didn't read the novellas, I suggest reading the novellas because I've only read one of them, but it literally showed me, it changed my whole perspective on a person, on a character in the series. And now I actually genuinely love that person, whereas before I didn't really understand the hype, you know? But now I get it. I get it. I get it. And it was so, like, heartbreaking and it helped me to better understand why that person is the way that they are. And I think it was just really eye-opening for me to read it. And it's crazy, like, his feelings versus his actions are such, like, a, they're just opposites, which is, like, it's helpful to know that now, but while I was reading Shatter Me, I was, like, why, why is this character, like, why, why does everybody love you? I don't get it. But now I get it. I get it. I gave it four stars. I really liked it. I got through it pretty quick. I just listened to it. I don't know if I'm team Alex or if I'm team Aaron yet. I really want to read the second Shatter, or the second book in the series. But it hasn't come in the mail yet. I ordered the whole box set. I don't know when it's coming. I ordered it like a couple days ago and I don't know why it's not here yet. But hopefully it comes sometimes this week. But right now it's a filler book. I'm reading the first book in the selection series. And I'm also gonna, starting Monday, I'm gonna be reading with my friends Curse of the Wolf King. It's like a retell. I don't know if it's a retelling or if it's just the same characters. I don't know. But it's like kind of like a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. And I'm really excited. I, I'm really interested in like... That I don't know what the series is called. Like I was saying, I don't know what the series is called, but it's a bunch of retellings of like princess stories, which are my favorite, which is why I'm obsessed with the Never After series. I gave Hooked five stars. It was one of the books in the um, options, the 12 options that we had earlier. But I just really love like those fairy tale retellings. While I'm reading that book, I'll also be reading the selection just as like a no brainer kind of book. 
I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. I just I just need to get through it because that's a book I should have read when I was like 13. So yeah, that's my little book date, my little book update. Um, for a crochet update, I think I'm gonna finish this row and then I'm just gonna go ahead and take a shower and then keep working after I shower. But I'm not sure if I must if I like these colors together. I feel like this this pink is really throwing it off and then this just kind of looks like a baby blanket. Let's compare it to the book. Let's see if it at least matches the book. Because if it matches the book, then it's not my fault. The colors of this are just not my vibe, but... Okay, yes, I see it. I see it. I think it matches. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this row, and I will see you guys when I'm done. Okay, little update. Remember when I said I was gonna take... Okay, little update. Remember when I said I was gonna go take a shower? That was an hour ago. So, I changed up the pattern a little bit, and let me show you guys what I did. So, rather than uh, doing the, the bow with, like, just yarn, I crocheted, like, a little bow for it. I don't know how I feel about it. Oh, wait! This is kind of cute, but the bow is just, like, lopsided. I need to figure out how to make it straight. But I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for the bottom. I think I'm going to do something like my Sophia top, which is on my channel if you guys want to watch it. I might do, like, short sleeves instead of just straps because I feel like this would be cute with short sleeves. So I'm still figuring that out, but so far actually, you know what, I didn't like it, but now I kinda, I'm kinda liking it. It's kinda cute. I'm gonna fix the bow so it's not lopsided. I just wish I did the bow a little bit thinner because I feel like it's so thick, but other than that, I kinda like it, it's cute, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna take a shower. I, I need to go fold my laundry and I need to change my cat's litter and then I need to put a new load of laundry and then I need to fold laundry and then I need to take a shower and it's 8.50, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Ooh, I'm listening to the selection right now, and I actually like it. But even though her name is America Singer, I bet you can't guess what she does. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I am, because I'm getting, like, Hunger Games, like, dystopian kind of vibes, and I really like it, because it's, like, a lighter dystopian, with, like, a little bit of happiness, a little bit of sadness, some princess. Like, it's fun. I like it a lot. So that's my little update. Hey guys, it's 9.46 and I'm out of the shower and I'm about to start working on this top and I have a new idea of what I want to do. I'm going to keep it like this, but for the bottom, I'm going to do like a flowy kind of like baby doll kind of design because I feel like that is very like Liz coded. Liz is the main character of the book. That's like the vibes that I get from her. So I'm going to do like a flowy kind of bottom and I'll probably steam it so then it's more like flowy and then I'll do sleeves. I actually have really high hopes for this. I don't really like the colors, but I do like the pattern that I'm coming up with right now. I am going to steam the bow as well so that it falls a little bit better. But yeah, I'm just going to do the bottom and I'm going to make it like real cute and flowy. And I'm probably not going to montage this because the montage will just be taking up the whole video. So I'm going to come back right before I go to bed and I'm still listening to the selection. I literally listen to it in the shower. Like that's how good it is right now. I'm on chapter 10 and I'm at the part where she made it to the, I don't know where she is, the castle? I don't know where she is. Not there's no, I don't think there's a castle, but she's stuck, like at the place where the prince and his royal family lives and she's up against all the girls and they're like, she's like realizing that people think that she really wants him but she doesn't want him but she may it may like she looks like she wants him so like she's just realizing that there's people going against her and that people are very envious of her and it's going really good i really like it so far let me get back to crocheting this top i'm actually really excited to see how it turns out i'm not gonna finish it today but i'll finish it definitely tomorrow probably at school it's 10 28 and this is how much of the top i've gotten done the bow is crooked. I'm gonna hot glue the bow so that it's straight, but I'll do that at the end. I'm gonna see my vision coming to life. I'm gonna do short sleeves and then I'm gonna make the body a little longer, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I am going to bed. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow. Probably not bright and early, probably after school. I'll see you guys. Hey guys, I'm back home from school. I got home like an hour ago and I just ate some dinner, but I didn't take my project to school because just because it was just it's a lot and it's really big and it's really colorful and I didn't want to call that much attention to myself. As I'm looking at it, I'm hating it like even more. <laughs> I'm not gonna frog it. I considered it, but I'm not gonna do it because it's not that like, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of the colors. You know what I mean? But maybe once it's done and maybe with like a cute outfit, it could, it could potentially give. I don't know if I'm gonna do the sleeves just because I don't like it enough to do all that, 
so i think i'll just leave it either strapless which could be cute or i'll just add just a regular strap but we'll see um i still have a little bit more body to go honestly i should have just like followed the book to the t like where it's mostly yellow and then a little bit of blue because i feel like it doesn't match as much as i want it to so i don't know if i should keep going re no i don't know i guess it matches enough but i really wish i did more yellow because it it shows a lot of yellow. I'm going to keep working on this. Definitely not going to be my favorite project of this video. But you know what? You live and you learn. And I will definitely do like a part two to this video. If you guys enjoy this video. I could do like more of my five star reads. Or I could do like my the books that I don't like. Because there's a lot of books that I don't like that I read. But they have good covers. But yeah, I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to... I'm either going to watch Sarah Crowley. Or I'm going to listen to the rest of my audiobook. I am almost done with the selection. This is where I am. This is the front... I'm on page 204 so I'm almost done I'm hoping to finish this book today and honestly I wish I had read this book well I don't know if it's gonna be a five star read but if it were a five star read I would definitely do this book a top for this book or like something crocheted for this book because the cover is not so pretty but the the blue with the white combination I love or instead of doing like my least favorite books I could do like you guys pick the books so, like I could post like a poll on Instagram and you guys can I'll just like randomly post a poll with a bunch of books and I won't tell y'all anything and be like just pick a book and then I'd let y'all pick the books and then I'd crochet something to that that would be fun I don't know just let me know if you guys want another part to this video because I'm having a lot of fun making it so far even though I don't really like the thing that I'm making I'm, ha I'm still having fun making this video like it's super creative I feel like but um yeah let me stop talking Hopefully I can get this done in one sitting. I do have to go to the gym a little bit later, but I'll probably go at like 6 or something. It's 3.30, so I still have a little bit of time. I'm just excited to get to Caraval because I think... No, not Caraval. Love in other words because I think that one's going to be my favorite. And I feel like I learned from doing this one. I don't even know why I chose this in the first place. Like, the colors... Never mind. I feel like I've learned my lesson. Like, go with the book exactly so then it matches the book perfectly. My tabs are like the same color as my project. Maybe I'll go based. Yeah, my tabs match the project almost perfect. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to do Love In Other Words because I'm obsessed with that color theme and I already know what I want to make for it. So I'm super excited to get started on that one. But let me stop talking and let's finish this top because I'm ready to be done with it. I'm sick of looking at it. Hopefully somebody out there likes it and I'll sell it to them. We'll see. I just want to give you guys a quick update. Ignore my hair. I gotta wash it. I gotta wash it. I'm working on the straps right now and then I'll be done. I'm gonna steam the top so that it's a little more flowy. I actually don't like it i don't like it it's cute it's cute i like the top i don't like the colors i really wish i would have just stuck with yellow and blue I, there was no reason to be adding pink in there i think the hot pink is really throwing it off and so is the honestly the light pink too it's making it look very kitty and then i feel like i'm gonna make it look even more kitty when i wear it because my hair is like curly and big and i feel like my curly hair makes me look really young so i feel like i'm gonna look like a 12 year old i'm honestly excited to try it on i hope it's cuter on than it is off i feel like it'll be cuter on but i don't want to get my hopes up because girl i don't think it's gonna give okay okay i didn't end up fixing my hair i just put it down but i actually like the top i didn't think i would but i actually really like it and so i'm gonna give you guys the review are you ready so here is the completed oh let me take this off this is the completed top. I actually really like it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the colors, but I do like the design. And here's the book. Are we seeing the similarities? I am, but not as much as I wanted to, which I will take into going to the next project. But I think for like my first try, it's not too bad. Like it's, it's a little bit off. We could have did more yellow and more blue, less pink, but it's not bad. It's definitely not one of my favorite tops that I've ever made, but I don't hate it. I actually think it's kind of cute for spring, for Easter, summer, you know? So, better than the movies, done. I want to show you guys in like the good lighting. This is the top. The back, I ended up just tying both the top and the bottom so that it wasn't so loose at the bottom. And, you know, it's very similar to my, I think I called it the Sophia top. It's on my channel, I'll put it in the eye. But now let's get into Love Another one. So we're about to go to Joanne's and then I'm going to go to the gym after. And obviously I'm taking y'all with me because what other option do I have here? Like y'all got to come with me. I'm going to go to Joanne's because their yarn is 60% off. <laughs> but we're going to Joanne's, girls. Um, Oh, let me show you. These are the colors we're shooting for. I think I really wanted to find like a yarn that has all of these colors in one ball. But I highly doubt that I'll be able to find that. So I'm going to look for like these exact shades. Like I have pinks and 
greens and blacks and all that but they're not the shade of the book i'm gonna look for the exact shades of the book so i'm definitely gonna look for this background pink and that's gonna be the basis of my project it's gonna be the main color and i'm gonna try to keep it simple maybe i'll do like this cream up here like possibly a light green and i'll probably leave the blue alone i learned my lesson i might do like this coral kind of color because it contrasts nicely with the light pink i love this part of my day it's the best part ever <laughs> Oh. I'm on the way to Joanne's. My battery is about to die, so I don't want to record too much. But I will see you guys in the yarn section. I'm scared. So I made it to Joanne's, and I'm already finding some yarn that kind of matches my book. Like this one has the pinks and like the. Actually, there's no gray on this book. But I also see this one, which is really, really similar. But I'm gonna keep looking because this yarn, this is the yarn that's always expensive, and it's. <gasps> This one might be the one, but it's really thin and it's still seven bucks, so I don't, I don't think so. Or this one up here. This one's only five forty-seven, but I want to get like mixtured yarn. I don't want to get separate colors just because I like the way the mixed yarn looks better with the project that I'm gonna be making. So I'll let you know guys know when I find something because my camera is about to die. Here's the book, and then here are some of my findings. I think I found some pretty good ones and for some pretty good prices. So I found this one, and this one is like, it's a, I forget what it's called, mohair, I think? But it's one of the soft ones, and it's on sale for $7. So there's this one, which I think matches pretty well, but it's kind of missing like some of the shades of pink and maybe some of the shades of green. I don't know, I feel like it's a little too vague. And then there's this one, which I think matches really good. The gray can kind of take account for the black, and there's the pinks and then the whites in there. So I think that one matches really good. And this one is on sale for $5.47. Then I found then I found this one. I feel like the more I, I keep looking at them over here and I'm like, oh, it's not going to match. But then I compare it to the book and then it matches so well. There's this one. I don't know about this one. It is a little bit dark, I feel. But like it can kind of take account for the red. So maybe, but I don't know. And then lastly, there was this one. Which I like this one, but this is going to be one that like... I don't know if I'm going to like the outcome. So I'm going to sit here and decide which one I want to go with. And then I will let you know which one I go with. But I'm really leaning towards this one because it's fluffy. That's literally the only reason why. And I feel like it'll look so cool with what I'm making. I haven't told you what I'm making yet, but y'all will see. So these are the two colors that I'm stuck on. I know this one matches more. I know deep in my heart. But this one is just so much prettier. What do y'all think? Honestly, I think I'm going to go with this one. Because if you do it like that, it looks really good. But then if you do it like this, it also looks really good. I don't know what to do. I feel like this one goes more with the reds. And then this one goes more with like the background with the pinks. So I'm stuck. But I'm going to figure it out. I think I'm going to go with this one. And also this one is normally $12.99 and it's only 7 So I feel like that's a really good deal. So I'm going to get, I think I only need two. But I might just get three just in case. Because I don't want to run out and then Joanne's is bankrupt and dead so i think i'm just gonna get three okay i'm back home from the gym and everything and we got a package i know what it is we're gonna open it together can you guess what it is it's the full shatter me collection but i'm super excited to read the second one i have literally been waiting for this to come in and the second one is definitely gonna be my next read after i read the curse of the wolf king because i like i need to know i need to know what's gonna happen it's the next morning it is six 40 a.m. something I'm about to go to school but first I want to tell you guys what I'm gonna make with the pink yarn we got yesterday because I didn't tell you guys I'm gonna make y'all are about to be sick of me I'm gonna make a granny square sweater I'm so excited because isn't that like such a fun now you see why I picked that fuzzy yarn I feel like that's such a fun yarn to make a granny square sweater with I've never made it with that yarn I have a tutorial for this sweater on my channel it's gonna be the the one with the collar the pullover i'm so excited i don't know if i want to make it cropped or long if i have enough yarn i'll make it long but if i don't i'll make it cropped either way i'm gonna act like i'm gonna love it so i just want to tell you guys now because i'm probably gonna start working on it at school and i didn't want to come home and talk to y'all after school and already have the sweater like a little bit done so i just wanted to let y'all know i'll try to film some at school but i don't know i get nervous i will see you guys later today Hey 
Hey guys, so I'm home from school. I'm gonna show you guys how much I did at school. I did a whole, well not a whole side, I almost did a whole side and then I didn't end up finishing it. But I finished most of the whole side and this is what it's looking like. So far I really like it. If we compare it to the book, I see, I see the similarities, I see the similarities. Um, but yeah, I feel like my sleeve is a little too short though so I am gonna just end up steaming it cause I want it to be a little oversized. But I think I might just go cropped with this one and just return one of the yarns because this is not even a full ball of yarn like I still have a lot of yarn left and I feel like I'll only need like one and a half so yeah this is how far I've gotten so far I still need to do like the side rows and then I'll move on to the other sleeve hopefully I can finish the sweater by tomorrow I still don't know if I want to add length I think I'm just going to keep it cropped because I feel like this colorway like looks cute cropped but I don't know it might look good long so I'll have to think about that but that's my little update um I'll keep you guys posted with anything else I do but yeah I'm just gonna work on this for a little bit longer and I finished the selection today and I gave it four stars I really liked it I really want to read the second one already like I want to go buy it but I put myself on a book ban for the next two months because somehow some way I bought 25 books in a week so or so I'm just gonna wait like two more months until I buy the next the rest of the series because they have it all at half price books for like five bucks so I'm on this book and this book is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast so far I really like it um I love the characters and the storyline, but I really am only on page 19, so I can't say that much about it, but so far, I like what I'm reading. So yeah, those are my little book and crochet updates. I will see you guys when something fun happens. I think what I want to start doing is reading two books at the same time. One book will be like audiobook slash easy book and then the other book will be the book that I'm putting like my full focus in. So like for example the book I'm reading right now is a fantasy and I'm not going to be able to read a fantasy like willy nilly like I need to put my full focus on it. So I'm thinking I can have my fantasy with the side of like super super easy like this was my super super easy quick read. So I want to do like a really easy quick read with the side of fantasy or like with the side of whatever else I'm reading so I can read more efficiently. I feel like I'm at the, the reading level to be able to do this. Like I feel like I've leveled up. So I'm gonna pick out like a super easy book I can read in between reading my fantasy. I don't know. We're gonna pick a new one once I finish this. I'm almost done. I have three more rows and then I'm gonna pick Look at this TikTok I just made. Damn, how big of a bitch am I that I moved the whole metal crate? God! <sighs> ah. Anyways. Okay, I finished this side of the sweater. Does anybody else like when they don't feel like getting scissors? Just This is one side of the sweater. I think it's so cute. I really like the ombre. Now when I work the second side, I don't know if I want to start with a new ball of yarn so it gives the exact same like layering effect with the white going out to the pink or if I just want to start with the ball of yarn that I have and it's going to have dark pink going out to white because I feel like it'll look good either way. Like one way it'll look very put together, really organized, but the other way it'll look like just like hues, like just pink hues everywhere. So like I don't know what I want to go for. Hey guys, it's the same day, just the night and I'm about to go to bed. But I just want to show you guys everything I crocheted today. I finished the sleeve, which y'all saw, and then I started on a new panel for the other side. Uh, but I got too busy to finish it, so I'm going to finish it tomorrow and hopefully finish the sweater tomorrow so we can get started on Caraval and be done with this video. I don't want to be done with it though because I'm actually having a lot of fun with this video. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys so I didn't just like come home the next day and leave y'all hanging. So I'll see you guys tomorrow so we can finish this sweater. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I am loving it so far, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's the next night. I'm all showered and everything, and um, I didn't film today because I brought my project to school, but I forgot to bring the yarn, so I couldn't get anything done, really. But when I got home, I crocheted for a little bit, and then I went for a run, so I didn't do too much today, but I will show you guys what I have done so far. I'm hoping tonight, it's it's 8-12, I'm hoping tonight I can finish this, the whole other side 
and then tomorrow I'll connect them and do all that. But tomorrow I'll definitely be able to crochet because tomorrow's basically Friday. Tomorrow's Thursday, but I don't have school on Friday, so tomorrow's basically Friday. And I have a free day in one of my classes, and that class is three periods long, so I can just crochet that whole class. So obviously we have this panel done, and then I'm working on this one right now. As you can see, I'm almost done with the sleeves, so I'm hoping I can finish it tonight. And then if I'm not too tired, then I'll connect them, but I might be too tired because the cup takes a little bit of time. So yeah, I'm just going to keep working this up. The color is barely changing on this one, so I'm a little worried about that, but we're slowly getting to the lighter colors, and we still have to add these parts, so... I'm hoping that it balances out a little bit because right now it's just looking a little blotchy I feel like because this has no light pink on it and this has a lot of light pink on it so I'm just hoping it works itself out I think I'm just gonna watch something or I'm going to listen to an audiobook while I do this and I'll keep you guys posted with everything okay ignore literally everything but I'm not wearing a bra so beware of booby this is what it looks like right now I finished it it's 10 p.m. right now and I took like a little hour long break, but I finished the base of the sweater. I think I am gonna make it long. I like the crop, but I don't know. I feel like it'll look better long, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna get some opinions and I'll figure that out, but I'm done for tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see if we're gonna add length. I might as well add length. Like I have so much leftover yarn. I still have a whole unopened ball, which I'll probably end up returning, but I still have majority of the second ball, so. I might as well just add length because I don't know what else I'm gonna do with that yarn. Like once I use the yarn for a big project, I never want to see it again. I'll do all that tomorrow. Okay, so I'm at school and I'm about to try this sweater on because I finished it. I came to the bathroom, but I ran out of yarn and this is what I have. I still have to steam it, but I need to, I'm gonna try it on. Okay. I like it cute. Um when I steam it, it'll be a little more oversized. This is a video where a girl used like her cat's brush to brush out her mohair hat so I'm gonna see if I can use my cat's brush to brush out the sweater so it can be fluffy I don't know if this is gonna work absolutely not so here is the book this is what we were trying to encapsulate this was the goal this was what we wanted this whole vibe and here's what we created so here's the sweater I love it I think I encapsulated the book pretty well I feel like it goes pretty well and then I was also really worried about like how even it would look because one side is more p light pink, one side is more dark pink. But I think I did, I think it looks pretty seamless. Like it looks pretty good. And yeah, I actually really like the sweater. I didn't think I would. Um, I, the steaming made a really big difference as y'all obviously can tell. And like, look how big the sleeves are. Like look how much it's overlapping. Like the sleeves are huge now, which is what I wanted. So I'm really happy about that. Here is the final sweater. I love it. I have no other words like i think it's really cute let's move on to our next project of this video no joke my setup for this tiktok because i can't get like i want to get right in front of the window but i don't have anywhere to put the phone in front of the window so this is what i've come up with hey guys i'm on my way to joanne's right now to get yarn for the caraval book which is our last project of this video but i, haven't, I don't know what i want to make yet but i have a rough idea and i don't think it's going to be crochet i think it's going to be knit but i don't know we'll see but yeah, I'm on my way to Joanne's and I'll show you guys when I get there. Hopefully I can find a yarn that looks like the book. Because I got lucky with Love In Other Words. Hopefully I can find a good Caraval one to end the video off. So I'll see you guys at Joanne's. Why do I not feel embarrassed to film here? But I feel embarrassed to fit in Hobby Lobby. Probably because I'm always at Hobby Lobby. I need something to match this. Ooh, I think we've already got a good contender
Mm -mm. What do y'all think about this? I think this match is pretty good. It's the best I could find. Actually, yeah. I think I'm going to go with this one. But I might change what I was going to make. Because I was going to make a sweater with the central machine. But this yarn is a little too thick to make it with. So I'm going to figure out what I want to make. And then I'll come back. Okay, guys. Question. Should I do this mixture or this mixture? But if I do this mixture, it's missing the dark blue. And if I do this mixture, it's kind of missing the red a little bit i don't know okay this was the final decision i'm happy with my decision i'm gonna make a bag i was gonna make like a top but i'm gonna just make a bag i know exactly what bag i want to make too and i'm excited i think it's gonna look really good with the red contrast and i'm so excited this is the last thing we're making and then we're done i also need to come back to joanne's maybe later today or later this weekend to return one of the pink yarns because i have i use literally two exactly like that's all i needed two exactly and i have one that's unused so i'm just gonna go ahead and return it yeah so i'm gonna start crocheting this bag i'm really excited and i'll see you guys later for an update till the day that i die until the sun sees through my slanted by the way yeah mm -hmm. i'll put it down yeah, yeah, how's that working? How's that working out for you? Get that, get, get! Oh, why did you think it's... Why was it looking at me? You're messing up my aesthetic shot. I'm the one who's pleasing to look at. Don't put it. Let me talk. Right there, we can lean it up against the Here's what the bag's looking like. It's a little wrinkly and kind of weirdly shaped because I think I made it too big on, like it's bigger than the base that was on the bottom. I think this is bigger. So I've been making random decreases as I've gone and it still looks a little bit funky, but I feel like once the bag is completely done and you put stuff in it and it weighs it down, it won't really be noticed. But yeah, here's my little update. Um, I'm hoping I can finish this in one sitting because I'm ready to be done. So yeah, I'm gonna try to finish this right now and then we'll do like the final reveal of everything we made for this video <clears throat> and then we'll wrap up the video. So I'm gonna get, catch you guys with an update. Hopefully I'll still be in the same spot, same outfit, same ponytail and I'll have the bag finished. If y'all see me in the next clip, all like whole different outfit, whole different hair, don't eat. Don't even be surprised, honestly. Okay, if you can hear the background, sorry, my mom is vacuuming right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but if you do, I apologize. But I finished the bag. <laughs> I finished the bag, and I think I made it wrong uh, because it looks crazy, and, it, and the yarns, I knew this would happen, but I was hoping I could ignore it. The yarns are two different weights, so the bag is like really long and kind of weirdly shaped. But you know what? It's still cute. There were a couple books in there and it'll weigh it out. It'll look cute. So I'm going to show you guys. But I think I'm going to steam the bottom of the bag because the bottom stitches I messed up on and there's like kind of like dismorph. So if I steam it, it'll I think it'll loosen it out a little bit and make it look a little more even. So I'm going to steam just the bottom because I do not need to be steaming the top. It's already long enough. But here's the bag. Um, it's cute. It's just like you see the bottom is like... You see it folds in random spots and it's kind of stiff so i'm just gonna steam that and hope that it like smooths out but i think it's cute honestly from over here i think it's real cute real bomb it's super long um i didn't mean to make it this long it's just because this yarn is way thicker than this yarn so this came out a lot thicker than this did 
But yeah, I'm gonna steam the bottom. And while I'm steaming, I'm gonna go ahead and steam the sweater because I haven't done that yet. And um, I'll show you guys the finished result of everything. I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get cute, act like I was like already cute to begin with. And then we're gonna take some videos to post it and wrap up this video. I didn't wanna wrap this video up. I'm having so much fun filming this video. Like I think this is my, the most fun I've had filming a video so if you guys want more videos like this let me know and then also if you guys have book recommendations let me know because you guys already see the book I give you guys all like my favorite books so based off my favorite books and the books that I do have you guys can give me recommendations so and you guys can follow my goodreads I think it's in my description if it's not I'll put it in there and if I forget to put it in the description box just comment and I'll put it in the comments but um yeah let's steam and we'll get it okay guys why is the lighting oh there we go there we go now for the last project of today's video are you ready here is the tote bag it is so cute it is just we're like long right here but what do we have in here do we have something in here oh this is the last project. I think this one matches the most out of everything we made. It matches, sorry, it matches almost perfectly. It's just missing that dark blue. But I'm obsessed with this one. I think this one matches really, really well. I'm quite proud of myself, if I do say so. But yeah, this is the last project of today's video. I am literally in love with the color scheme of this bag. I don't know how to feel about how long this part is though, but I guess you could like put your laptop in there or something. I don't know, but this, completes today's video um what do you guys rate the bag what do you guys rate all of everything that we made i rate the first top ignore the clothes i just put my laundry on there it's clean laundry but i rate the first top where is she she's somewhere around here i rate our first object which was better than the movies i'm gonna give her a six out of ten yeah a six out of ten she doesn't match as much as i want her to but she still kind of matches so i'm gonna give her a six out of ten um the top is cute i just i'm not a big fan of the colors together but i guess that's not really my fault it's kind of the book's fault not my fault then our second project was this granny square sweater or love in other words she matches really good actually i'm gonna give her an eight out of ten i actually love the way this matches i'm also gonna go to joanne's after this to return the last ball because I only needed two. And then our last project, the goal was to match Caraval. Do y'all say Caraval or Caraval or Caraval? How do y'all say it? Because I say, I say it like 10 different ways. It really just depends on who I'm around. But I think I say Caraval. 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 I used to say Carnival until I really looked at the cover and realized that it does not in fact say Carnival. Here's the last one. This is a 9 out of 10. I love the way this goes. I just messed up the pattern a little bit. So I'm not, that's where it's losing points for me. But everything else about it, 10 out of 10. Like I love this combo. So comment down below which one is you guys' favorite. And that's going to conclude today's video. I had a lot of fun making this video. Let me know if you had a good time watching it. And let me know if you guys want like more of these videos. More like book slash crochet videos. Because I would love, I could do like, crocheting my tbr crocheting my least favorite books crocheting my favorite books which is this would i like there's so many different like matching crochet type of videos i can do because i've read so many books and i have so many books so comment down below if you guys want more of those kinds of videos and i definitely will make more because i had, I had so much fun like i'm actually relying on y'all to say y'all love this video because all it's all it takes is one comment really all it takes is one comment and i'm gonna be filming the next video immediately yeah thank you guys for tuning into today's video it was probably long i mean i have a lot of footage for this video so but you guys asked for longer videos so there you go um i'll see you guys next sunday with a new video because my new posting schedule is sunday follow me on instagram if you guys want more because i update my instagram on everything that i do for my youtube channel so if you guys want little updates just go follow my instagram and i always post something about youtube on my story whether it's like a poll or an update or a posting schedule or whatever. So go follow my Instagram if you want some YouTube content outside of YouTube. And if you want to see me outside of YouTube. But if you don't want to see me outside of YouTube. If you if, if once a week is okay with you. don't You don't have to go follow my Instagram. I'm going to end the video off. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. And thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.